What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today's video, the guy behind the camera is going to be doing a review on <laughs> this fellow right here, the no uh, Santa Cruz Nomad. So let's break it down. I've had this Nomad since September of 2022. It's been about six months now and I've had a ton of requests for this video. So I finally feel confident in being able to do this review for you guys. So we're gonna get right into it. The Santa Cruz Nomad, it's a 2023, is a mullet. So I was a little worried about that because I've never owned a mullet bike and honestly, the look of it threw me off a bit. Howdy, partner. I don't know, having the 29 front and the 27.5 rear just it throws something off in my head and I thought it was going to be a problem, but after owning it and riding it for that amount of time, the pros of having the smaller wheel in the back have honestly just made it irrelevant and I'm super stoked that I actually gave it the chance because when I had full 29ers in the past, I noticed I'd hit my butt on the rear tire a ton. I have not done that once on the Nomad, so that's an A+. Plus. The second thing that I thought was gonna be a problem with this bike. Um, I honestly forgot what I was gonna say because I don't have a script. So let me read it. <laughs> <laughs> the second thing about this bike, um, I thought because it was a full 170 um, travel bike that it was gonna be a problem for me jumping on and climbing and dying on the climbs up because I already suck at climbing as it is. And I had taken a few months off. I had, hadn't ridden the bike in shoot like six months before I bought the Nomad. And I thought when I first got the bike, I was like, dude, this thing climbs like, and I should have got a shorter travel bike like I had it before. But um, I was clearly just way out of shape and yeah, it was just me. Because now that I've gotten used to it, it's not a big problem. I still suck at climbing, but I've gotten used to it. I do lock it out on the climbs, and I've forgotten to unlock at times. Don't lock your truck. And it sucks, but I used to do that with my old Nomad too. I never really climbed it up fully open. So same thing, I've gotten used to it, and it's honestly not really a big deal, so. Full 170 is an A plus for me too, so I don't know why I said A plus. I guess that's the rating. We're going in alphabetical order, so two A pluses. <laughs> it came with the Fox Factory 38 up front, and it has the DHX2 in the rear. I just adjusted it to my weight, and it's been solid. So I'm super stoked to be back on Fox because. There's just, I don't know, there's something about it. It just rides super good and I'm happy with it, so. It's been good. I have no complaints with the cornering or um, any of it. It just feels, it's, the geometry is on point. It feels like a small bike going down and it's been solid, so. Handling is A++. This is the highest end build that Santa Cruz offers. The only changes that I made to this bike were the factory dropper and the TRP brakes, as well as the wheels. It came with the factory fork, but it didn't come with the dropper, and that was throwing me off too. Same thing, you know, like I was saying about the mullet, the 29 up front, 27.5 rear. That's just another one of those things where I had to have the same color, because if not, it just looks a little weird. I don't know why didn't, they didn't add it from the factory but it's also got the axis and it did get misadjusted <laughs> I might have smacked the derailleur on something and it was getting thrown off a bit but um, I actually had somebody look at it and they made the like slightest adjustments on the actual uh, shifter itself and it's been fine so A plus man we've had so many memorable moments me and this bike I knew when this bike first came out and I went out and shot it with Num Num, I knew this was like, this is my next bike. I loved my Nomad before and I got rid of it and 
will never stop here in the end of it from Dumb Dumb. And this has honestly <laughs> been the best decision. I, I don't think I could have got another. I almost got an e-bike. Yeah, but this was a better choice because I'm trying to get back in shape. We're, we're doing good, but no. No e-bike right now. Pros and cons, pros and cons. Pros and cons. <laughs> I don't know, I can't think of any cons. Like honestly, is there, have I complained about anything? No. Honestly, this bike really surprised me. When I took it out to Idlewild for the first time, it had been a few years since I went there and the bike just handled everything. Like, it just blew my mind. This thing can handle the craziest stuff. I will not live up to the riding potential of this bike. But yeah, it's, been solid like I'm saying best choice I could have made I know this is it's been my favorite bike I mean just look at it for the pros on this bike um, dude everything I just I absolutely love Santa Cruz I feel like they have the best colors in the game they have the sickest bikes in my opinion um, Santa Cruz has always been both of our, mine and Num Num's favorite manufacturer, so. Pros, it just, it rides like a dream. It's, it's a nomad. What else can I say? Who would I recommend this bike to? Anyone who has money. <laughs> Anyone who has Shoot, I don't know, because I mean, this is also the price of two bikes. I mean, this build at least, but you don't have to get this build. Anyone who wants an all around like park bike, do it all bike, it still climbs. Like I said, it's, it's fine. I mean, if you're riding with people who are racing up the hill, you're probably riding with the wrong people. Like, come on, let's be real. Who's racing on the top? You need new friends. Who would you recommend this bike to? Someone with money. Someone with good credit. <laughs> someone with personalities. But have we gone over? It's it's a mullet bike. I was a little scared that I wasn't gonna like it. I, I absolutely love it. I haven't hit my ass on the rear tire and that's a huge plus for me. It's a 170 all around um, travel bike and I love me some big travel bike. So, plus, plus. Um, the only changes I made again were the brakes, is I'm not a fan of SRAM code or whatever brakes. Um, so it's got the TR TRPs on there. It's got the Fox uh, transfer. And um, yeah, I mean, it, I changed the wheels, but aside from that, they're, it's, it's been solid. It's, there's not much I can say. It's a solid bike. So I recommend it to anyone who's only got the ability to ride one bike and that wants to do everything with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it looks like my camera's running out of memory. So hopefully this is recording. But if you guys have any real questions, I know this was a lot of gibberish and messing around. But if you guys have any real questions, message me on MTB Flow Official on Instagram. D or, uh, DM me write down in the comments and um, I'll let you guys know whatever it is that you're asking.